the tune This Train. I do a lot of songwriting where it starts with the guitar, where I'm just sitting around noodling on the guitar, playing things. And I live right now very close to some railroad tracks. And so, and I've spent a lot of time traveling by train. And one day I had this weird idea that I would try to just emulate the sound of a train um, using the guitar. And I was working on this little picking pattern thing and, and um, I was waiting for my friend Carmen to come over because we were going to do a songwriting session. And so I was just working on this little groove and um, just singing the words, you know, this train won't run on money. This train won't run on blood. And um, Carmen came over and she walked in the front door and she goes, what is that? And I said, well, it's just I'm trying to make the guitar sound like a train. And she's like, that's a song. We need to finish that tune. And um, so we got stuck into it then. And um, that's how the song was born, really. But again, just coming out of a groove and, um, you know, as I think it happens to many guitar players, it's just uh, you get into this trance and sometimes uh, the hypnosis of playing can yield some things that once you get into the mantra space of playing, which is when you forget about yourself and you're just playing for the, the center of the feeling of what you're doing, some really wonderful things can happen. So that's really where this train came from. So what's the story with the singer in this tune? Who is the narrator and where'd this song come from? This train. Well, the song really does borrow, I think, unconsciously, largely from gospel music. And it's, it's very declarative and it's very sure of itself in the lyric. This train won't run on money. This train won't run on blood. The idea being that it's a spirit train and nothing that we do in the material sense of our existence could really change where this train is going. And so that is the essence of the song. And everything that goes by, you know, it is highly repetitive in, in that um, the melodic line. Everything that goes by does support that central theme, though. So one of the things that's interesting about it, though, is that the guitar is very much a staccato-based pattern. Um, and the idea is to create that lumbering feeling. And if you've ever spent time on a train, you know that feeling I'm talking about, where the cars are rolling across the tracks, and the tracks are set at equal intervals. So the train hits a certain speed, and there's a cadence and a rhythm and a sway and a yaw to the train car. And that's really what I was going for in the feel of this tune. And that's what I wanted to have underneath whatever was sung. So the narrator in this one is really all of us, in a way, in the classic sense that a gospel tune is usually written um, from the standpoint of uh, the relationship of human beings to something greater. Um, but also, that can be individual or that can be the whole group celebrating that unification or that deity or that experience. So this tune really does work in that same way. So this train is bound for glory. This train is bound for love. That last little couplet is sort of, it ties into my own spiritual center, but it's sort of a Unitarian look at theology um, as well, that every religion really at the core has the singularity of love at the center. So that's where this song goes, and um, the guitar really is standing in support of this, long held out phrases, the melody and the lyric is written to be sung as a, as a duo performance between me and Carmen. And so 
That's the real essence of this tune. <laughs> 